This is going to be freaking awesome, man. I am so excited about today's little detection. We're back on the creek uh, at a spot that I found late in the day, not too long ago, and hopefully you saw that video. I was starting to find a bunch of Civil War stuff. Well, mostly bullets. I got a uh, handful of round balls, 6-9 caliber round balls, smaller ones, some mini balls, uh, even a nipple protector, which is pretty cool. But uh, we, I hunted for a few hours and kind of found this late, you know, toward the end of the hunt. And I had to split. And the spot it was at, though, where I was finding stuff, there was like more signals right there that sounded just like bullets. So I think we're going to start off this hunt finding bullets right away. And I'm really excited about that. So what do you think? You ready to get in the water? <laughs> we're going we're to fill this little baggie. We're only going to hunt today until this little bag is completely full. Of bullets and belt plates and gold coins and gold signet rings from West Point and then we're gonna go home let's get in the water <laughs> all right I'm pretty much at the spot where we're gonna start today and as you can see the water is really clear in this little uh, section of the creek right there's where I left off uh, we left off when we were finding the bullets the last time we were here we're gonna work our way up through here uh, as far as it goes until the bullets and stuff run out unfortunately there's not much current in this part of the creek so I don't think we're going to get much underwater action, but if we can, we'll do that. That's where I found the first bullet when we were here last time. And uh, what I did is I went down to that area right there and started working my way this way, just trying to get all the signals, but I guarantee I missed stuff. <laughs> if nothing else, we'll go back through this section again, maybe later on, and uh, see what we did miss. But hopefully we'll have to do that another day. They were detecting with a Garrett AT Max, zero program, zero discrimination. Uh, uh, maximum sensitivity you probably don't need that in here because the bedrock's really shallow I don't know if you can see that screen or not but let's go ahead and listen and see if we can find some more of those targets I think there were uh, good targets up in here you can hear the iron and that's a nice signal right there that could be a bullet that's another one right there that's a high squeaker right there another one there And I just turned the machine off. I don't know why I did that. Uh, let's see. I'll just throw these um, back here for now. The old pinpoint out. There's a lot of silt and stuff in here, so this is probably going to be buried a little bit. All right. <gasps> what is it? Yeah, that's a piece of junk. First target of the day is a piece of melted aluminum uh, they always give really good squeaks let's go ahead and check uh, this hole here there's a troll train off in the distance never get away from those things I'll just turn it back on <laughs> yeah there's another high squeaker right there too it's probably more aluminum I'm just gonna go ahead and dig that then we'll go over to the bullet signals in just a minute this is actually kind of cool I'm glad I kept digging there that's where I just got that little um, you know, piece of melted aluminum, and then I kept digging around, and I found uh, it's already gone. Uh, there's a piece of a uh, can, there's an old can in here. Uh, it's a beer. Yeah, there it is. It's a piece of like an old beer can or something. So I dug that out of there. Kept getting a signal, and this was underneath. And I know what that is just by just by looking at it right there. Hopefully, some of you guys do as well. It's iron. And it's related to horses. Have you figured it out? This is going to be a curry comb. This is a thing that you use to brush horses at the end of the day uh, to straighten their hair, the hair out and to get birds and stuff off of them. That's uh, part of it. It's not the whole thing, of course, but it's missing the handle and whatnot. This is most likely Civil War related considering where we're at. You see these little ridges going across, these iron ridges? That's the comb part that you drag across the horse's back. And if you look here, you see how it's put together. There's different designs the way they're put together right here, but it would have a handle normally come out here with the wood on it. So you hold it like that and you just drag them across the backs of uh, cavalry horses, artillery horses, plow horses, anything. But that's a military issue item right there for sure. <laughs> Not bad. All right, so right here's where that really good squeaker was. This could be a bullet. There's something over here too, I think, that might be mixed in with some iron. So I'm going to dig that too. I don't know, you can probably hear that squeak, but let's go ahead and get this one first. That should be pretty easy because whatever it is, it's pretty big. 
I wish you could see underneath there. Ooh, there she is. <laughs> Pan it. Pan it like that, and a lot of times if it's a can or something, it will move. I'm gonna put you away on this one and dig that because it's really whatever it is, it's light and it's moving around, so it's probably a can. Uh, beware that I'm gonna be digging a lot of the iron in here too, because things like curry comb, bayonets, pistols, uh, gun tools, things like that from the Civil War are probably gonna be here. So we're gonna have a bag full of iron. Hopefully it won't fill up too fast. I got a really cool, interesting find, something I've never really found before, so I'm really happy and excited as to what <laughs> what it might lead to later on the signal that was here that was really loud is a big piece of melted aluminum so that's like a can that was in a campfire or a couple cans that was a really good squeak and the signal that was over here right beside it that didn't sound too good but uh, i went ahead and dug it there could still be stuff there but the first thing i pulled up was this look at this isn't that freaking awesome this is two little keys it's got a little iron or a brass ring holding them together. So this probably goes to a padlock. Who knows what was in that lock box? It could be a I mean it could be a payroll, a government payroll from the Confederacy or from the Union. Could be loaded with gold coins. <laughs> Isn't that weird that they would drop these two keys here? Uh, somebody was probably going up the bank and slid down or something. Oh, that's, oh, that's super awesome. Those are the things I really like. Those little weird things that you just don't find many of. Single key, you know, okay, but two of them hooked together like that, for me, is pretty awesome. Let's get the pin pointer out. Let's just check that hole. Let's see where it came from to see if it keeps... I know it's going to keep beeping, but... Well, I don't know it's going to keep beeping, but... Nope. <laughs> no, it was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, see, there's more targets down there. Maybe that's where all the coins are. You hear it? <laughs> I'm so giddy with excitement. I probably should have got you out for this, but I'm, I'm checking that hole where the uh, keys were, and I'm finding like nails and pieces of iron, but also have two good items. This is one that I just pulled up. There's another 69 caliber round ball. Now this is the first one today, but this is this is the area where I was finding a bunch of them last time we were here. If you look over here, there's another round ball that I found in the exact same hole. Man, that's a crudely cast one. And a couple pieces of iron, some small nails. What I'm doing, I'm just using a pin pointer in there, basically. Let's just listen to it though with this. Really high squeak right there. Let's go ahead and grab that. I think that's something, probably something that I moved. I don't remember that high squeak before. And the iron masks a lot of these good signals too. They so don't hear them until they move. Let's see if we can find this one. Is it on? Yeah. That's weird. I thought it was pretty shallow, whatever it was, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, what is it? It's a leaf. All right. Well, it's not too heavy. That is some type of iron well, a rivety thing. This probably has a little bit of wood right there. You can see something on the inside. So I don't know if that's what we were hearing or not. Something's on my knee. Hope it's not a leech. <laughs> I'm too afraid to look. All right, let's look around some more here with this. That's boy, that thing squoke awful, awful good for being iron. Listen to it with a metal detector again. Move that to the side. Yeah, that's what it was. I hear some iron, so I'm gonna dig around and hear some more. Got another squeak right there. That's where we got the. Um, that's where we found some of the aluminum. So I'll go ahead and dig that on my own. I'm gonna dig around in here a little bit more. Okay, so I have pretty much everything that uh, I can hear with the pinpointer out of that little hole area. And I've got a couple things to show you. Okay, first off, this is some type of a little buckle, harness buckle of some sort. And it may be part of what we're digging. It might've been, this might've been part of a lock box, who knows? And I'm digging a bunch of these. These are all fresh ones. I don't know if you remember, but I put the other ones in my bag. The other one in my bag. I thought they were iron, but I'm not so sure because they all squeak. So that might that might be partly brass. I don't know, but got a couple more of these. No more bullets. Old nails. That might have been a might have been a box here of some sort. Could have you know been. Might not have been a payroll, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. So I'll, I'll check this again with a metal detector. 
And if there's any more signals, I'll dig them up with the pin pointer and then we'll start moving this way. I know there's more signals over here that we haven't dug yet. So I've been working the same little hole here for about 20 minutes. I mean, I haven't moved at all. And I've uh, got a couple interesting things I want to show you. And there's plenty more targets here too. But I think we're going to get up and move around because my... <laughs> A little uncomfortable uh, just right in this area where we got the other uh, round balls and stuff but first thing I wanted to show you is this rock that I just pulled up out of there uh, this is a fire cracked rock uh, these were used by Native Americans and others as well but they'd heat these things up and uh, use them to cook with sometimes they, you could put this in a container a skin container full of uh, broth or soup or something and heat it up like that or you could just uh, just use it for you know just heat it up and use it for cooking put that back here let me show you what we found here and i guarantee there's more but this is the last thing i dug i don't know what it is i haven't really looked at it but it's a blob of iron encrusted with a rock encrusted on it i don't know we're going to put that in a bag we'll uh, break that open a little bit later this is some of the stuff i've been finding there more of these little things so that's some type of container got another little handle that was stuck to a rock and kind of broke when I got it out of there. A few more musket balls. Uh, lots of little square nails. Square nails. Modern bullet. Uh, yeah, musket balls. And this stuff here, which I thought when I was digging, it was just kind of coming up and floating around. It's actually leather. So this is a leather strap. Could have gone to the box that these things came off of. Who knows? Uh, but I'm not finding anything but this kind of stuff here, so it wasn't from the gold coin. I kind of suspect that um, you knew it probably wasn't going to be, but you just never know for sure. All right, I'm going to stand up, and we'll start moving around, and we'll go up that way a ways. Uh, as long as we're finding stuff, we'll keep moving, but we can always come right back to here and dig more with the pinpointer. So I went ahead and filled the hole back in, and uh, we're going to come back to that some other day, though. And uh, starting to move along, and I got my first... I think I got a lot of iron in here, but I got a nice squeaker nice squeaker right there iron iron a lot of nails and stuff in here all right let's go ahead and dig this that's that's a that's a high squeaker so that could be aluminum melted aluminum it could be brass or i don't think it's a bullet though there's like uh, flat rocks down there that are cemented to the bottom. And I think the target's underneath it. And there might be more than one target because it seems like there's a gap between the buzzing. So I'm going to go ahead and dig it up and I'll show you what it is. All right, so this is what we found. Uh, we found another 69 caliber musket ball. There's a little bit of wire in there and that's a little piece of lead. I don't know if that's going to be like a buckshot or a split shot. I'm not sure. I can't really get it to <laughs> move very easily, but... Uh, I think the main signal we heard was this. Boy, it sounded too high for a musket ball, so there may be some other stuff down there. I actually emptied my bag already. All right, so we're moving up through here. Um, well, we've actually moved about three feet since the last uh, scene, but I've got a couple signals we're going to dig. That's a nice thumper right there. Right to the edge of that rock. And you hear the iron, too. There's lots of iron in here. We'll definitely be digging some of the iron later, though. I'm not worried, maybe not too much more today, unless it's bigger. And uh, iron, oh, nice big thumper there. All right, so we've got two signals. Let's go ahead and dig this one real quick. It should be right at the edge of this rock. Oh, hopefully it's not aluminum but we don't know until we dig it it's like a little pocket down there right on top of the bedrock you ready i don't know if there's <laughs> a bullet that's probably what we we're hearing if there's any more that looks like a piece of iron maybe rusted iron there's another 69 caliber round ball put that in my bag and kind of I've kind of you can kind of figure out where the uh the round balls roll down to the very lowest areas <sighs> yep there it is <laughs> it's a battery or hopefully it's a 10 pointer battery actually it, uh, it looks a little bit different than a nine volt but it kind of looks like one that's the battery rock and I scooted over to this other signal that was right in here was a good thumper and <laughs> I got another 
69 caliber mini ball. But there's more signals down there in the exact same hole. I suspect there's going to be more. Uh, it's not a mini ball. Musket ball. Round ball. Well, he almost lost the old chig. Almost had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about gold coins all the time. Check this out. Ready? <laughs> Look at that. I saw that. I saw that gold on the, the edge of the gold. And, um, oh man, I thought I might have had a little dollar gold coin. Another dollar gold coin. Because I found, I found several of those in my career, just none recently. But what we have is a little grommet. And that could easily be a Civil War era grommet. It's really hard to say. Let me show you what I got out of that hole. There's several signals. Let me put that away. There's a lot of broken glass. I just put this piece out to show you. Uh, so you got to really be careful. And this is all mixed together. And I got a, another nail, big old nail, and another musket ball, or yeah, another round ball. And something small here, actually. I think it might be split shot. I think it might be like a modern split shot, but I can't really say for sure. It could be like a buck, piece of buck and ball, but it looks like it's deformed. And these musket balls are drop. You see a cut across it, so that could be an old uh, piece of buck shot that the soldiers made a... Uh, the little split shot thingy out of or it could be more modern one. It's really hard to say. All right. Uh, a couple of musket balls out of there and a fake gold coin. Something. Oh, I gotta, I'll remember to grab that thing there. Let's run the machine over the hole, make sure we got it, everything. I hear plenty of iron. I think we could dig in here some more and still find some more stuff with a pin pointer and we may come back and do that. But let's go ahead and keep moving. So we just dug that fake gold coin. A couple of musket balls. I got a killer signal right here. I'll keep the loop high because it's under a, looks like a big, a big rock right here. I'll take it back. Hopefully it's not just a can or something under the rock. That could, that does happen. It sounded really big though, whatever it was. But yeah, it's weird. Ah, we just probably can. It's huge. There it is. Piece of aluminum. Alright, so that is a piece of aluminum. Probably a window to a trailer or something mobile or a camper trailer or something. That's kind of what it reminds me of. That was a killer signal on it. Thought we had a belt buckle, man. It'd be nice to find a nice Confederate belt buckle in here. We could because the round balls, I mean, they could be Yankee or Confederate. Uh, but the Confederates definitely used them a lot more than the Union did. All right. This is a great little find right here. This is a small brass buckle of a particular sort. It is called a Kepi buckle, and it goes through a Civil War soldier's forage cap. Most of you have probably seen the type of caps that they wore during the Civil War. They call forage caps. They have kind of made out of wool, and they have uh, kind of come up high. Some of them come up really high, but they're soft. And they call them forage caps because what the soldiers could do is they could take the hats off, flip it over, and it makes like a little, a little you know, container, a little bag of some sort. And they could fill it full of apples and different things like that. And foraging is looking basically is like looking for stuff looking for food or for gear or stuff like that so the soldiers would forage looking for green corn ears of green corn out in the fields uh, apples and different things like that and on these forage caps on the front they would usually have their unit and they would have insignia like uh, hunting horn for the infantry or cross cannons for the uh, uh, artillery but they'd always, almost always, I guess always, have these little buckles that go, they're more of a decoration, really. They go right in the middle with a little, there's a little band that goes across there. So this is definitely what that is. I found lots of these uh, in camps and whatnot. But now the, the thing is, if the whole cap was lost there, there should be two little buttons that go on the side of the cap. So I just dug my first mini ball of the day. That's a beauty right there. Uh, I got it right in front of that rock, and with a pinpointer, I can hear something else up underneath there. So hopefully, there's more. All right, we'll check together. What do you say? Somewhere up in here, I heard. Yeah, up, up under this rock here. Let's put move it. There we go. Nice and loud. So hopefully, it is. Hope he's a whole bag full of them. Um, no, look at that. That's not a good sign when you see a leader. 
Isn't that weird? So there's a little lead modern fishing weight, and that was actually right, you know, right in there with the that bullet. But there could be more bullets. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta feel it with my finger. It's on this hard clay area. Oh no, there it is. Wow, that is a that's a piece of iron that goes on wagons. I've seen these before. It's like a sharpened right there, and that's broken off. I, I can't remember how that works, but it's definitely from an old wagon. Troll train, probably Civil War era. The hole. I'm amazed that I heard that the mini ball in there with that big, big chunk of iron. I just got another mini ball. That's been definitely run over or stepped on. Probably run over. I didn't get you out because I've been digging quite a few uh, modern sinkers. Uh, but yeah, so probably a wagon came across a creek right here. I've seen that happen many a time with these things. Let's check the hole and make sure there's not more than one in there. That's all I'm hearing right there. Machine out. This is actually the best way to check it. A little bit of squeaky going up there. I'll have to stand up to get a better angle on it. So I couldn't really get a good angle on the dangle in here. I actually had to crawl in here because uh, this tree is down. But this is what I heard squeaking in here. And I believe that's going to be part of a pocket knife. I'm not 100%, but I mean, it looks almost like the end of a horseshoe. But I suspect it's going to be a pocket knife. So I worked my way out around the uh, falling down tree. That's where I was up inside there digging. And I came out and just dug a bullet. Another mini ball. Kind of crushed up you can see it's got some staining on it so it's against some iron probably so i'm gonna go ahead and recheck that hole that wasn't a really good signal couldn't recheck it oh yeah it's another one down there i'm gonna turn the machine off again and i'm going to just get a pinpoint and go through that little crack right there see where i set my headphones on the tree that's a beaver tree you see that was a fresh cut mark so there's definitely beaver in this creek you can see the bark down there anyway yeah so you see where we're digging around a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and put you under and hopefully this will work out for us I had to uh, turn the camera off for a little bit because my battery's getting low, but I have a I have a fresh one. Oh, there's another bullet down there. Uh, I was just digging like little pieces of iron and stuff, so I started fanning that direction along the crack, and I can see another bullet. Ah, very nice. That's the one we dug already. Let's go look at the other one. At least we've got two out of that little crack what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and work on my own for just a few minutes with a pinpointer get the battery changed out and then we'll uh we'll hit it some more can't complain about that now can you no indeed two nice mini balls see they're flattened out too so this was so i worked along the crack that way and, and kind of was just getting a lot of bunch of chunks of iron so i started this way and i just dug another flattened bullet and i think there's um might be more because i got another squeak half a squeak in here I can hear grunts like iron but I suspect there's going to be some more bullets in here so I'm going to work it this way and um, once I get a little closer maybe I'll get you out all right I cleared a little more this way and um, the reason these bullets are flattened somewhat I probably already told you this but just in case is the, you know, this was a crossing right here on this creek so when the wagons went across if bullets had fallen out uh, the soldiers pockets or if they threw them down or if they got shot and fell 
uh, the wagons and the horse hoods too with the you know the course the iron horseshoes for flatten them out anyway i got some good squeakers in here i'm hoping there's at least one bullet i don't see any from up here but let's go uh, there's a sinker right there oh no <laughs> Pretty neat little finds right there. I'll uh, get the split shot and stuff, but I wanted to show you what we have. That, of course, is another mini ball, drop mini ball. And I suspect there's going to be more in there because I heard some more beeping off that direction. But this, which looks like part of a baby horseshoe, is actually a heel plate from a boot. So a soldier went across here, and just like the horses, they break their plate, you know, they break the horseshoes and lose them in these forge where all these rocks are the soldier broke his heel plate and lost it as well isn't that cool so the guy who lost this could have been the one that dropped the bullets not seeing it was because there was lots of lots of soldiers crossing back and forth here all throughout the war all right i'm going to uh find these couple little pieces i'm going to go ahead and freshen up the batteries on the camera there's a nice chunk of enamelware pot this could have been like a coffee pot or something like that or a kettle you know well, that my friend is a very happy signal right there that's going to be a joyous find I can tell this should be too hard to get I think it's pretty much on better up maybe and a little bit unfortunately not quite as easy as I thought it was on to get it all right it's in my hand Ooh, dude that is a joyous find. That is a little silver coin for a button. I think it's a little uh, like coin, uh, coin or something. Is it? Wow, I hope so. I think it's going to be like a little Spanish coin. <sighs> it's very smooth though. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I got a little special pocket right here that we'll put it in, but I'm going to have to put you away. That's where I found that little coin and. Uh, a lot of iron there yeah that might be worth uh, exploring again but anyway I got a nice signal right here hopefully we'll be able to get pretty quick I don't think it's silver but we'll find out right now in that clay I guess it's Oops. <laughs> yeah it's definitely moved so we should oh we got it oh, what is it oh, lucky that my friend is a Civil War bullet yeah that's a Smith so that's a Smith carbine bullet from the American Civil War <laughs> most awesome haven't found one of these in a while that's cavalry bullet Let's see if there's another one. Not with a pinpoint anyway. Alright, get the machine back out, check it. Got a good signal right there. That little squeaky thing might be interesting too, but let's go ahead and dig this one first. Control train bringing us luck. Alright, ready? Yeah, must be buried a ways. Oh man. That's another. Oh, 
Okay. This is a Burnside carbine. And it's, it would actually have a metallic cartridge on it. You can see part of it right there, that green. And it would be about this long, come down to a point, like a, kind of reminds me like a, you'd see something with a umbrella tip. And that's black in there is actually the powder. So that it would have been a whole metallic cartridge, but it's kind of falling apart. Definitely want to check that to see if there's more in there. Um, the copper part, I'm sure, will be completely wasted, though we probably won't even hear that on a metal detector. Well, I've worked my way up through that section, and I'm not really finding a whole lot uh, this far up the creek. So probably what I'll do is go back toward uh, where we're finding stuff, mess around a few minutes, and then hit the road because it's Sunday, and I probably should go home and mow the grass and hang out with Lindsay for a while. Before I do that, I wanted to show you this. It looks like another bottle, Coke bottle. I found one last time we were here. So that's another Coke bottle, a more uh, recent style. No writing on it or anything. So this is a cool little find. This is actually a, was a complete Spencer cartridge. That's the base. You see what recently broke off. So I probably did it when I was fanning it with my hand. And that's the bullet right there. This is a cartridge that would look like this if it was whole. We might stick that back together before it's over, but yeah, that's a Civil War era Spencer. 100%. <laughs> Most excellent. All right, so I'm right back down to where, where we first started finding the round balls, first trip. And I just dug this gigantic, beautiful, I guess, I don't know if that's a pocket knife or, yeah, I guess it's a closed pocket knife, but that's a beauty right there. That's an old one. Um, same spot, and that's where we're digging all the round balls right there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to button everything up, uh, take a quick uh, picture or two of the relics, and we're going to head home and spend it with my dear wife, Lindsay, and the kitties and the doggies. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep.